were so happy when the Russian minister, foreign minister came. He was at home here. This is home, really. Russians have not done anything wrong to anyone. You have a problem, go and talk to NATO. It is the one that provoked Russia, and Russia, it is well within its right to defend itself. So the, the Russian foreign minister was at home. You should have looked at all the comments everywhere in the social media. Our people were so happy to have a Russian foreign minister here. So we are happy that they saw it befitting to respect us and to come to us as a way of saying we respect you and we want to give you a, some form of an explanation as to what is really happening uh, in our country and all of that. We can't say the same about this one of Treasury of the USA who was coming to steal our minerals and our wild life. I don't know what she was doing in those uh, game farms and all of that and the reserve bank and she came here to monitor their puppet if he's following their instructions of surrendering the sovereignty of South Africa. So America can never be welcomed here in South Africa in the African continent because we know when they come here they are coming to check what more can we steal and finish off this continent. So she was even going to Mpumalanga to go and run some symposiums or something on uh, just transition and uh, how renewables work. You can see that she was preparing to indoctrinate our people to abandon coal so that they can enjoy to build their own economies with our coal while we are swimming in darkness. We are not going to allow that. So she was not welcomed here. It is our constitutional right to protest and we shall protest on the 20th of March. Like Sharpville, we are not scared of the state power. Let the state come with its power. We will come with the mass power. So everything is going to come to a standstill we don't want to see a single truck moving. We don't want to see a single train moving. We don't want to see a single bus moving unless it's taking people to the picket lines. The trucks and the trains, more in particular, Richards Bay. Those ones who are taking our minerals out of our country through Richards Bay on the 20th, if you know what is good for you, park your trucks in your depots. Let the trains stop. Ramaphosa must step down with immediate effect. We are talking about our rights. Don't ask us about other people's rights. Let them talk about their own rights. We are talking about ours now. We are responsible for our rights. And no one can stop us from exercising our rights. Go and ask them how they are going to exercise their rights under the circumstances. We are exercising our rights. There will be no school. There will be no university. There will be no factory. There will be no bus, no taxi, unless they are taking protesters to the picket lines. There will be no truck to reach us bay. There will be no train to reach us bay. There will be no big roads that will be operating on the 20th of March unless it's emergency services. And we are not threatened by any security because we do this peacefully. It's our right. And if they want to come and violate our rights, they will find us ready. No one is going to intimidate us. South Africa will come to a standstill. If Ramaphosa does not resign on the 20th of March, then what will happen will be announced on the 20th of March. But we never make pronouncement on the things that are not possible. Whether Ramaphosa likes it or not, he's a mess in this country. He's responsible for the crimes of Palapala, 
And it's not me who's saying that. It's the former Chief Justice who says there is a prima facie evidence for Ramaphosa to answer on Palapala. Why would you want to continue as a president after being found with dollars that are not declared to Reserve Bank and SARS? Why would you want... I asked Ramaphosa, I'm not uh, speaking to you here because Ramaphosa is not here. When he called a meeting of political parties, everybody said this state has failed. And I said to him, everybody including the ANC in this meeting said the ESCOM has failed, the state has failed. They mean you because you are the presider of this failure. Why do you want to continue as a president? Everywhere else, if this EFF start declining and is dying, under my leadership, I have to resign and allow someone else with capacity to take over this organization. Ramaphosa, I said to him, even if you have not done anything wrong in your mind, but evidence is all there that you have not done anything right. There's nothing that he has ever done since he took over that he has done right. So the regions of the EFF, the provinces of the EFF, commissars of the EFF must go to the pastors, must go to traditional leaders, must go to taxi associations, must go to the shop owners and all progressive South Africans to come and join the mother of all shutdowns. The July 2021, is 2020, 2020 of Zuma. Huh? Yes, of Zuma yes. The unrest of Zuma is going to look like a Mickey Mouse. Musina, Musina, there will be nothing that is moving. From Musina to Cape Town. Nothing will move except ambulances and hospitals, doctors and nurses and police. Only emergency services. And emergency services include you who's asking about people's rights. You will be covering nicely the protest of the EFF on that day. We are unstoppable. South Africa has been waiting for too long. We are mobilizing every corner of our country. That is the beginning of bringing down the ANC and Ramaphosa. 20 March 2023 is a freedom day. Our freedom that was stolen by the criminals of the ANC shall be returned to the people of South Africa on the, on the 20th of March 2023. Everywhere else we meet progressive unions and all progressive professionals. We must all remind each other that freedom is coming on the 20th of March 2023. We are going to switch on the lights of South Africa because we are going to remove a man who switches off the lights of South Africa. Thank you very much. I'm a king, but yes, I'm a king, but what? I'm a king, but yes, I'm a king.